This is Mark Staples with the Forest Service Utah Avalanche Center. So what happened to our snowpack? All season long, it's been shallow, weak, unpredictable. It's been producing avalanches lately on two main weak layers. One just under this layer of dust and another near the ground. Lately, those weak layers have gained strength and slowly our snowpack has gotten deeper and deeper. And now here in the central Wasatch on northerly slopes, it's pushing two meters deep, almost six feet. That means these layers have gained strength. More importantly, on March 22nd, last week, we had an entire day of rain. As Drew put it, that was a short period of pain for long-term gain. And what that means is, is that we moved our snowpack forward into spring really quickly with one event. That put a lot of heat in the snowpack, and now these layers of snow Pretty much the entire snowpack is hard, strong, and dense. So a skier or rider's weight gets distributed and it really doesn't reach down into the snowpack down to where these weak layers used to live. They're mostly dormant. So what that means now, moving forward, is that most avalanche activity will be happening up here. The wind is blowing today, so I'd expect wind slabs. Tomorrow the sun will be out. So I'd expect some loose wet avalanches here, but that's the good news. Avalanche activity will be up here. Moving forward, there's always a caveat, and that is if we get a major spring storm that puts down a ton of snow, it could still find areas that have some of these weak layers remaining where they could break deeper. But for now, they're mostly dormant.